Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, today we will be learning or going over how to forward Octologs to Curator. Um, I believe this should apply to any other SIM tool as well, but for this video we are focusing on Curator um, either in your production environment or the Curator Community Edition as I will be using here. But they're the same so we're gonna go straight into it where you want to go into is log into your um, Okta dashboard once you're logged in it's gonna look like this um, for this tutorial I'm using a dev account which is free um, you want to go into security and scroll all the way down to API's once you get to API's you want to switch over to the tokens and we want to select the option create a new token okay once you select the option create a new token and now you can give your um, token a name you can call it curator api and we're going to select the option create token okay notice once you create the token it gives you um, the token value right away you can use the copy to clipboard option right here and copy that token and then we're going to um, select OK and we'll switch onto our curator system so once you log into your curator sim uh, you want to go into the admin tab um, we're going to be using uh, either the log sources um, default application or um, the Curator Log Source Management app, which I downloaded from um, Xforce Exchange, and I will use that. But note that if you're using this or that, the process is the same. So, just a quick note if you are using Curator CE only, you want to go into Auto Updates and find um, Okta and install the update. The reason be because if you see right here, Curator doesn't automatically install all the DSMs. Um, most of the other DSMs are kept uninstall uninstalled and Okta is one of them. Um, so you have to search for Okta and you select it and then you want to pick the option install and you take the option select updates. Give it a few minutes. It's going to install and once it's done installing, it's going to deploy changes by itself. Once that's complete installing, we want to go back down and select the option Curator Log Source Management. Once again, if you don't have this, you can use the Log Sources application. Okay. Once you select that option, you want to go and select the option to create a new log source. Okay. And uh, once you get that done, you want to go to creating a single log source. We want to look for the Okta application here. Then we're going to go next. You select Okta REST API, configure log sources. We want to give it a name. For this tutorial, we'll call it Okta. And we're going to go configure the protocol uh, parameters for your log source source identifier you can give it any name but for me I'm just gonna call it login dot geek together dot com and for your IP address or your host name you want to make sure you're putting in the IP address or the host name of your Okta account so I'm using a dev account if you're using a dev account too you can put in the name on here but with my dev account, I have a, a custom domain name that I'm using and that brings it to this. So either way, you put in the IP of your host name of your Okta application in here. And for the authentication token, we want to paste the token that we um, got when we um, created the API. So I'm going to go back here to Okta and I am just going to copy that token. Okay. 
Uh, now that I have that token copied, I'm gonna bring this back on here and I will paste the token in there. And the last thing you wanna do, or the next thing you wanna do is select the test protocol parameters. If your curator is behind a proxy, you wanna turn this on and put in that information as well. But we don't have that, so I'm gonna test. So once we start the test, We can see here that um, our curator was able to successfully connect to our Okta portal and it has some sample sampling events right here. And if we hit the finish option, it's gonna give us the option to deploy the changes and you wanna go ahead and select deploy changes. And once that's done, you can go into your log activity tab, you add a new filter and you wanna select log source and you wanna look for the octa log source we created or you created. You wanna select the add filter option. You can either let it to be in real time streaming and if you head back over to your octa um, page and let's say here i'm going to generate some logs uh, first i'll start by deleting uh the new api that we just created because i don't need that um, we should see that activity on there in a little bit and uh, also if you try to log into your opta application Gonna go right here, try to log in as a fake user, John Doe. Input a fake password. Gonna try to log in again as Mary Doe. And I have a failed authentication attempts. And, and now as we can see, we did receive three logs. One of them, which was us revoking the API token. So you can see uh, this action was performed by admin. And the other two logs were core user authentication login failed, um, which includes uh, the two accounts we tested, which were fake accounts, Mary Doe and John Doe. And so at this point, you are done configuring your API on Okta. Uh, so Curator can use this to obtain um, logs or um, important events that you may need for correlation and for um, your organization uh, compliance policy or needs. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, um, I will greatly appreciate it. Have a nice day.